Hello and welcome to the Weekly Outlook at XM.com. I'm Maria Pachardis and joining me is investment analyst Marios Hajigiriakos. We'll be taking a look at the week ahead. So, Marius, we've had some good news lately due to the slowdown in new infections in Europe and America. So markets are now looking to see when economies will be reopened. Are investors under the impression that things will return to normal in a couple of months? How likely is this? I think they are, Maria. At least that's what the narrative in the markets uh, seems to be currently. So, you know, we've had some good news that uh, new infections are definitely slowing down in Europe and even in America. We are seeing a peak and many countries in Europe are starting to lay out plans for reopening their economy. So Italy and Spain, which were the hardest hit uh, countries from the virus, uh, relaxed some of their business restrictions lately. Germany announced plans of its own to ease the lockdown. And the US is thinking about its own exit strategy as well. So, you know, the whole narrative is uh, that the world economy will return to normal uh, in a couple of months or something resembling normal at least. Uh, and to be sure, the, the massive stimulus that we've seen from governments and central banks is helping out with that narrative as well. However, I'm more of a skeptic. I'm I'm not so convinced that things will go back to normal and that you know we'll be back in malls and uh, cinemas uh, in a few months. So, for, first of all, we've had a staggering amount of job losses already. So the speed that jobs are being lost in the U.S. is really terrifying. Uh, next month, the unemployment rate will almost certainly surpass uh, the peak of the previous recession. And who knows how much higher it's going to get after that. Now, those job losses will take years to recover. And we also have uh, the potential long-term damage on consumer behavior. So would you go to a restaurant or a cinema the day that the lockdowns are lifted? Or are you going to play it safe and, you know, wait it out a little bit and see? I think that most people are going to be more on the, on the defensive. And therefore, I think that markets are, first of all, underestimating the, how deep of a recession this will be. And secondly, how long it would take for us uh, for us to recover. Now, there are some segments. So stocks have rallied recently on optimism uh, that things will go back to normal. But we are seeing other segments of the market uh, react much differently. So gold is gaining, the Japanese yen is gaining, uh, so safe havens. This shows us that investors are still playing some defense. And at the same time, oil prices can't get off the floor. And that really shows that, you know, nobody's really, at least the commodity markets, are not really expecting a real pickup in demand uh, anytime soon. Right. So in this panicky environment, economic data don't mean much. But on Thursday, we'll get preliminary European PMIs for April. Are these numbers likely to attract some attention? And what's the outlook for the euro? Well, they're going to attract attention as much as economic data can attract attention nowadays. So the PMI specifically, well, usually economic data are backward looking and therefore markets don't really care much about them in a crisis. But the PMIs also have a forward looking component. So I think that's going to be uh, of interest to the markets. Now, the preliminary PMIs for the Eurozone will be bad. The question is just how bad uh, it will be. Now, as far as the euro is concerned, it has been trading mostly at the hands of risk sentiment lately. So the euro dollar, the pair, has been uh, rising and falling with stock markets. Now, that has a lot to do with the dollar as well. The dollar has been acting like a safe haven, so that helps uh, this relationship out a little bit. Now, what's the outlook for euro dollar? I would argue that the risks uh, surrounding the pair are tilted to the downside. Since I, I believe that, you know, the recent stock rally is built on rather shaky foundations and since euro dollar has been trading uh, in the same direction as stocks, that would imply that if stocks turn lower uh, in the coming weeks again, that could also drag uh, euro dollar lower as well. Okay, so let's turn to the U.S. now. Um, there's been a huge surge in the number of Americans who have filed for unemployment benefits. Uh, on Thursday, we'll get um, both the initial jobless claims and the preliminary market PMIs for April. What should we expect there? Well, not much, uh, unfortunately. So we are most definitely going to see uh, another, you know, the amount of job losses, uh, maybe the speed at jobs uh, 
at which jobs are being lost might moderate, but they're still likely to see a very high number, which is rather worrisome. Now, as far as the dollar, we're just discussing it, it has been acting like a safe haven in the middle of all the, this crisis. And, you know, that's really logical. When the world economy falls off a cliff, everyone wants to hold uh, dollars. So we've seen it retreat a little bit lately uh, as the mood in stock markets improved, but I don't think that will last. Therefore, I think that we could see some mild gains uh, in the dollar in the near term. Marius, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us here at XM.com.